Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review the new raunchy comedy about a man and his toxic relationship with his phone, Jexy. And this film, I saw the trailers, I'm like, okay, this could be interesting with what it's posing in terms of commentary on people's reliance on phones and social media and different stuff like that, along with a raunchy comedy. This film is so mean-spirited that I felt uncomfortable watching it and didn't laugh at all. It's one of those kinds of films where it's like the jokes are so low-hanging and have so much malice in them that I couldn't find myself laughing. And they were so low-hanging, they weren't clever at all. So, like, I couldn't even appreciate It's like, oh, that was a really funny line. No, it's just like everybody. The main character in this film... Phil, played by Adam Devine, is such an idiot and crosses so much over into ignorant asshole instead of, like, blissful, endearing kind of idiot character that it's just like, I don't really care about you. You're too ignorant. And, like, there's a whole entire scene of him trying to decide how he wants to shoot a dick pic and send it to Alexandra Ship's character, who... There's not much to her. She's just there. She's an attractive woman who, for some reason, finds interest in this guy because, I don't know, he, has, he seems like such an idiot that it's just like, why do you care? Why do you care? And it's just like that whole scene where it's just like, you're such an idiot. And that's so concerning. It's not funny. And I didn't laugh. And, obviously, comedy is really tough, because it is ve so very subjective. And if you're really into, like, really raunchy, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna throw these jokes out there, it's like, it's so outlandish, I'm like, I'm gonna laugh anyway. If you enjoy that kind of stuff, you'll probably eat this up and get a lot of laughs out of it. But the thing is, it's not clever, it's not done in a way that doesn't feel like you feel like a jerk just laughing at it, because it's so mean. And, like, Wanda Sykes' character in this is just a jerk. Like, yes, this person obviously has a problem because they're so obsessed with their phone, and they take a couple minutes at the beginning of the film to set the stage why, and it's more like, he has a problem, he has an addiction. And instead of, like, pointing out, like, this is a problem, you have an addiction, this movie makes fun of it by comparing it to you being an addiction and making jokes about it. And it's just, that's not funny. It's mean-spirited. And Rose Byrne, like, as Jaxie, yeah, she's fine. Everybody in this film's doing what they should be doing in terms of what this film's trying to present. And this film's from John Lucas and Scott Moore, who wrote the Hangover films. I feel like there is a better sense of tone in how Todd Phillips set up that first hangover film than what's set up in this film. Everything feels so rushed, just feels on the nose, and just feels, I like, I'm watching an actual film, like, a realistic comedy that feels so unrealistic that I'm like, this might as well be a fantasy because none of this stuff makes sense. And it feels so rushed at an hour and 24 minutes that, like, even... My girlfriend turns to me, it's like, we have to be somewhere, right? It's already 4.30. And then the movie, like, ends within a couple of minutes. It's like, oh, there we go. Done. Because we knew how long it was. The third act of this movie is five minutes. Basically what it feels like. And the logic doesn't make sense because things move too quickly. And then there's characters like Michael Pena's character who's just so ridiculous over the top that it's not funny. It's just obnoxious and I didn't laugh and if you're a comedy and you don't laugh this film wasn't for me and if you do appreciate that kind of humor and it's not going to bother you that it isn't clever and it's just there to force a laugh because it's that outrageous then enjoy it get some laughs out of it I hope you do get some laughs out of it but that didn't really work for me in this film and a lot of the message seems really uncomfortable but those are my thoughts on Jaxie. What do you think?
comment how you liked it or you didn't like it, what worked and what didn't work, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.